will spawn and kill up kill us all. Mm. I won't kill us all. I won't. I will protect us all from the monolith. Monolith for, for us. You mean they... the people that you're actively working with? Shut up. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways, I can make monolith to or not attack us. I will make a deal with them. And when I tell them not to attack us, they will not attack us. But if I'm not in a position of power, yeah. they don't really have to listen to me. So not only but do you work with them, Leo, you're their leader. Uh, I'm not their leader. I'm, I'm, they're my friends. I know them from before. Oh, so you I'm are a known acquaintance with the Russians that are actively against our town. They are not actively against. They are very defensive in their ways. Hey, so far, They've threatened to raid this, us. Yes, and with me saying no, they have not. I am the reason they have not came. They have never came here. The only time they came was the opening of my bar. Every time they threatened to raid so us, I told them to not raid you, raid us. This is our town and my city. I will protect it, and I will ban monitors from raiding. Okay, so you are leveraging your association with known terrorists for your mayoral campaign. Is I've that got what the I'm What do you think Monolith would listen to you? No, I am no. actively telling them. I don't want to negotiate with them. They're terrorists. Pretty sure they just want to have their own little place in south. They're very down south. I know where their base is. I know. I have I have a drink with them, drink with them every now and then. They are very nice people, and uh, yeah. every time I negotiate with them not to come. He to has Werner, a point. Not to wait, he, he has a point because. I never seen any of them came here and yeah. did anything wrong yet. And they only promised, they only asked <sighs> for one thing, none of us to disturb them. They are like the Cossacks in the Caucasus. They only ask to be left alone, but if you do not leave them alone, they are perhaps the most vicious beasts on this planet. So what you're saying is if I get elected and we leave them alone, nothing's gonna happen. And, no, and no, if you no, get elected, no. nothing's gonna happen. That, that is basically no. exactly what no, you just, just said, been, right? They have threatened to wait because they can, and they know that without a person in power who knows them or neither speaks their language, they can do what they want because nobody will be telling them no or giving them options. And if they try to raid the town, but they will be met with force. I mean, when I yes, encountered them, I, they... I used a translator, like on Google. Yes, but what, what's better, a translator or a person who can actively ponderbugu Ruski? A person who can actively speak Russian. Who as long as you trust the person that actually speaks Russian, it doesn't sound like a bad idea. Yeah, but I don't trust mm -hmm. you. And how many years have you lived in a so former Soviet country uh, named Kyrgyzstan in Bishkek? Ten years in speaking Russian there. How long Ten have you lived in Livonia? Exactly. <laughs> And I've how, lived here my entire how life. Can you, how can you negotiate with them? Tell me how will you negotiate with them when they can't we understand won't. what you're speaking. That's the thing, then the, weights, then the weights will be constant. They don't care about how much force. They are bandits. They are bandits by both. They will come in hey. and keep waiting. They don't care how much they lose. They are Russians. They don't care I how much they lose. I will negotiate with them. I will give them a beautiful turtle. Oh, yes, like I said about the turtles. <laughs> The totals oh are God. amazing, amazing. But like I said, the Russians are vicious, and I'm the only person right now, actively, and has worked before, actively telling them not to come to Burna. And they, so far, the only time they came was during the opening of my bar, where they did not shoot so, anybody. So you stopped one hypothetical raid. I stopped several I hypothetical fought, raids. I fought. No, they only threatened to raid us once. So that's one one raid you stopped. That's I fought against terrorist attacks about. several times. Yes, and were these Russians? Can you confirm? No, they were other people. Yes. Yeah, and I fought against physical raids several times alongside by Brennan citizens, and you were nowhere to be I, found. I fought the I Russians when they came up raiding, but that was before they were in the Discord or before you guys were in here. Exactly. See? And now, he... right now, these the Russians are the most organized ones. I am taking no, the biggest. They're threat. falling I, apart. I, 
I say they're not that organized because I've actually killed them on a couple occasions. And if they were that organized, I don't think a solo mechanic guy that pops a lot of coding would be able to kill them. So you'll be surprised. These Russians are more dangerous than we think. Your known association with the Russians is nothing but concerning towards well, your position as mayor. We haven't yes. done any now operation to them. any faction yet. So, yeah, we are not violent. I, well, I mean, I did stalk the Russians like a week ago or something. But... Yeah, we don't the Russians have haven't to been... hear confidential uh, information about your journeys, <laughs> I guess. And, uh, <laughs> right? <laughs> fucking, I don't. I, I haven't seen the Russians on since last weekend when I was down stalking them. I sent Bablo get on for like 20 minutes earlier this week, but besides that, I haven't seen any of the monoliths on, man. Like, I don't know if they lost interest just because there's not enough going on, or if they found another lobby, or what. No, because I've been talking with Vova, they'll, uh, <sighs> Lidl, you could see. Yeah, we yeah, don't want to so, care uh, about the Russians. So it was announced that, um, giving out. The security it was problem announced. I... My first point as mayor, if I become mayor, is to implement new security protocols for town involving several different threat levels based on the the imminent danger to Brenna. My second plan is to initiate expansion via going to different I'm not done yet. Going we're going to regulate the quality of medical supplies in Brenna by going out and making sure that every medical uh, building in Livonia is locked up and with notes or something to tell people to come up here to get monitored quality medical supplies so they do not die or suffer severe, severe injuries. And my third plan, probably the most dangerous one, is to actively seek out bandits and give them a, a choice. To either be become to become allies with Rena, or to become enemies with Rena. You really like that, don't you? <laughs> All right. A little bit. Those are my three main points of becoming mayor. As for taxes, I vote. I wish to implement a form of tax, mostly for people that are new to Rena. It is a fee you have to pay to become to be able to come into Brenna if you are not a citizen. And if once you become a citizen, you are exempt from that fee. All right. Uh, that is all I have currently. You're up. Uh... Okay, thank you. Good Vote speech. for Spud. Okay. Hey, a vote for Spud is a vote for your bud, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn. Okay, talking about my political party. My political party first of all brings hope and food and water to the people of Bren Anna. My point, as I said before, food is what we need. Protection is guaranteed. Anyway, anyways, like I said, and when it comes to terrorism, these terrorists only have one threat in front of them. My word. My word of saying no. Every time they have been thinking and planning of a terrorist attack, they contacted me. They are friends. And I am friends with all outside and inside of Brenner. And when it comes to your drinks, I give you the best drinks when it comes to vodka. And then when it comes to medical care, medical care will be given and paid aid temporarily for me. But for buying, buying, you buy your own medical care, but I'll say if it's due to sudden injury, I will pay personally for your own medical care. And when it comes to so cannabis, shut up, bitch. When it comes to cannabis. <laughs> <laughs> so you said that you're actively allied with the terrorists, is that correct? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Anyways, when it comes so to So you're cannabis, evading the question. I w cannabis will be sold by the doctor, will be legalized and sold by the doctor and 
military officials. Uh -oh. And when it comes to policing, I will fix policing by incorporating more scenarios with the police due to the police not being as what they should be. More police and more patrols. And then after that, military. They have not been doing anything. So, so far, our only threat has been inside of Brenna. The military and mercenaries will be joining the police within operation. That is my manifesto, and God bless you all. Alright. I have a few more words to say in regards to my opponents. You see, I don't, fi I don't hide behind the guise of being a friend with everybody. There are enemies of Brenna, and that they, they need to be addressed as such. I am not friends with Monolith. I'm not friends with the Brazilians. I'm not friends with any of the people that have been attacking Brenna over the past few days, and I fought against them actively. My opponent says he's friends with them, but all I hear is that he's working on a way to let them inside to destroy us from within. I also do not speak down on people of Brenna. They fought and worked for their position in town. I won't re result in name calling. Everyone here deserves to be held with respect, especially the police that have been doing their job during the terrorist attacks, the military that have been doing their jobs with the, the terrorist attacks. And I'd, I, w I have one last point to mention. My opponent has never been around during the terrorist attacks. Coincidence? I think not. Serious accus accusations. Mind blown. Yeah. Mind blown. Yeah, do you have any objections? Okay, I got my objection. He just pulled the cord from the mic and dropped it. He's out, bro. Yeah. This is my word to potato. I have a bomb. <laughs> Get on the ground! Get on the ground! He's a terrorist! <laughs> We're back here again. Get on the ground! Don't Get kill ground. each other, just... Get on the ground! <laughs> no, I'm, well, I'm just messing <laughs> We're back to the... To this. We got yep. so civil. We got so civil. We got so civil in the campaign. <laughs> it all got pulled apart with the spread. All right, well, as you can see, there's only one true right choice here. Yes. I I say my case. Does anyone have a code lock? <laughs> no. Oh, son of a bitch, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> we can just lock him in his bar. <coughs> I mean, there'd be a lot worse places to be, like, locked in. There's a full supply of alcohol in there. Not too bad. Yeah. Things could be worse. Alright, well... It's safe to say I think I won my I won the, <laughs> the defeat here. I feel like there's no chance I lose against this this opponent. Oh, so my opponent was armed at a debate. I mean, I'm I'm feeling pretty comfortable about it, but I still don't think any of my concerns were addressed by either candidate at this point. I still I love neither but candidate. Totals are sacred speeches and all the national animal are fucking this place. Jesus Christ. Okay, alright. Well, actually, some of my concerns he are now very... addressed. I'm feeling better. <laughs> he seems to have been very animus about that. He seems like he was very annoyed by your questioning. <laughs> I just want to know what you guys are going to do for all the turtles of Livonia, man. They're, they're pretty defensive. Turtles are a sacred beast of Livonia. I will, I will see to it that the turtle will become the, the national animal of Livonia. My brother in Christ, you are copying me. I, I didn't. You didn't say anything about that. I did. Did he? 
I don't, did you guys hear anything about that? What turtle are you guys talking about, by the way? What? Turtles, Just man. turtles. Don't, don't you like turtles? <laughs> yeah, but I've Do never have seen turtles? any turtles around. Turtles are everywhere. All right, well, that's everyone, because they're endangered, wanna... Axel. We need someone to protect the turtles. That's why you don't. And see not them. in this simulation, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> they're endangered. Yeah. I'm gonna go host a uh, a little uh, luncheon at my at the traders for everybody that attended. There we go. Oh, Chuck Chuck Norris is online.